Hi, welcome to the Page Family Homestead. We had some little bit of bad news. We actually thought we found our new homestead and we put a bid in and we missed out. So Andy's a little bummed. So to lift his spirits, I'm going to make one of his old favorites, English beef pie. Um, typically it's made with ale. We don't like it with ale. So I use a cooking red wine for it. You can use red wine or ale, or you can omit both and just use extra stock. It's fine. So in here I have a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. I've got two medium onions, cut rough. Three small stalks of celery, cut rough two uh, carrots about so big like that and I just cut rough and went over with the knife and some mushrooms about five to six mushrooms we're going to save those and put them in at the end with the garlic okay for seasoning it's seriously to your palate Andy loves these chili peppers we put them in almost everything there is just under half a teaspoon I've got a full teaspoon of thyme Full tea, a half a teaspoon, no, a full teaspoon of pepper um, and a full teaspoon of parsley and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, and so here's my one and a half cups of wine and I'm going to use just shy of a pint of our beef stock as well. So I just want to sweat off these veggies. Oh, I let that get hot. Just the root veg right now, the carrot, the onion, Celery, well the celery is not a root veg, but turning that down a little to a four. I'm going to cook these down for about, oh it smells awesome already, five minutes. Put <laughs> them out, get them a little bit tender. And as you can see, I gladly left the carrot or the celery tops on. I want that flavor. And it's going to cook down. So before I go further, I'm going to let these sweat down. I'll bring you back at the next step. All right, so I've let these sweat down for about five minutes, six minutes. Now I'm going to add, I've got three cloves of garlic, nice big ones that I just dice chopped up. I'm going to add those in. And add the mushrooms, four, five, six, whatever. There's no rhyme or rule with this. If you like mushrooms, put them in. Um, trying to clean out the freezer for when we move. So that was also a deciding factor on making this dish. I've got here about two, just slightly over two pounds of rough cut beef. I wanted to use that up. I honestly did not weigh it when I pack, repackaged and separated our meat, so I'm guesstimating. Again, versatile guesstimation recipe. <laughs> I'm going to let this cook for, oh the reason you add your garlic later, um, you don't want to burn it. That bitter burnt garlic taste isn't really very nice. So I'm just going to cook this long enough to let the mushrooms sweat down a little bit. And then I'm going to take them out and put them in a dish. And we're going to move forward to the second step. See you then. Okay. I just pulled off the veg. I just left the mushrooms. My oven is preheated to 375. Thank you. <laughs> so I just let the, the mushrooms cook it down a little bit. Just sweat some of that water out of them. Um, just going to set them aside, heating up the pan again. Toss in my meat, and I'm going to turn that down. I'm just going to brown them. Now, when the meat sticks to the pan, it's not ready to be lifted. You'll rip it apart. So just let it tell you when it's ready to turn. They're not quite brown. So I'm going to brown these off. 
when I brown them, when they get close to the end, I'll bring you back. We're going to add in our spices and herbs, our veg, and oh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm adding in a half a cup of peas. According to Andy, it's not what? Not English, we don't have peas. <laughs> but those will go in after. I'm just setting them aside. So if you see them, they'll be like, oh, she forgot the peas. No, I didn't. I'm just going to brown this off. I'm going to add the spices, stir it up. I'll bring you back for that because then it's all bang, 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 and then in the oven. Alrighty. Okay, so I've got a nice browning here. I don't want to cook it. <laughs> That's coming. So I'm just going to add in one for now. See how this goes. And a half tablespoons of all purpose flour. Might get more in there later. We'll decide. I think it'll be okay. You know what? I'm going to put, uh, I've got a lot of veg going on here. I might even actually get two little pies out of this. So. Yeah, one for me, one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Slice is sufficient. <laughs> it's hard not to get carried away though. It tastes so good, eh? Mm -hmm. We're going to serve this with a salad so it's not going to stand alone. I just want to cook that flour down a little bit because who wants a pie that has a fat ground flavor of paste, right? So cook that gluten <clears throat> down, brown it up a little. This is going to be so good. So about here, I'm going to add in our spices, give them a dance in the pan. Like I said, my oven is already set for 375 because it, um, the recipe called for 280 or 380, sorry, but it's in a cast iron pan, so oh. Scapey. So. Oh, scapies. <laughs> <laughs> and then in goes our veg. You got one over there behind there, huh? Oh, do I? Yep. A runaway. Uh -huh, shrapnel. <laughs> oh, I did too. You almost made it. Would have been dog food. Look at this. This is going to be absolute heaven. <laughs> okay, going to move wee bit here, get our wine in there. That was one and a half cups. So like I said, if you don't, I'm going to let the alcohol cook down. If you don't want to use the wine or the ale, just use one and a half cups of stock and let it cook down a little bit. So I'm going to cook this down, turn my heat up a wee bit, to a, between a five and a six. So I'm going to cook the alcohol down out of there. I want the flavor. I don't want the buzz. Now Andy keeps pushing the peas to me. Not yet, dear. <laughs> these uh, are going in the oven for like an hour, hour and a half. And I don't, these are frozen peas. So I'm just going to put these in. You'll see. Not yet. So I'm just going to cook this down a wee bit and I'll bring you back. So here it is. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell it. Ooh, smells so good. Oh. Thickening up the, a little. The gravy in it. I know. Mm, nummy, nummy, nummy. So what I'm going to do is use, um, I just want to cover just slightly. Look at that. See, the bad thing about having your husband doing the recording is he now sees just, you know, I can't do the flower on the face trick anymore. So... <laughs> It is a little bit of work to cook homemade and from scratch. Is it worth it? Yep. That's all I need, his yup. That's all I need. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven for hour, hour and a half. Well, look what we just discovered. I was kind of just like freaking up in off freaking camera. Up. <laughs> freaking up. Freaking out off camera, because I thought, oh my gosh, I don't have a lid for this. I went running into my pantry and I'm scoring the lid off Andy's Dutch oven. Oh, works perfect. for me. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to check it at an hour. Um, I'll bring you back either at the hour or the hour and a half point and we go from there.
Okay, so I got Andy, it's been one hour, I got Andy to take this out of the oven, it kills me, it's just too heavy, way too heavy. And at one hour point, it's thickening up beautifully. Oh, smells so good. I was going to wait and put this in when it was done. I want it to thicken a little bit more. I am going to put them in now and let them go the last half hour. I want them to actually have all those. Now that's flavors. English. That's a better pie now? Yep. Okay. Does it need more? I would think so. Okay, stay right there and I'll be right back. I should do it? I should do it. Okay. <laughs> now that's yes, English. <laughs> that's English, man, I'll tell you. Your mom must have loved to cook. Oh, I almost grabbed that. Yeah, Your mom. <laughs> I do think You're a brutaholic. Like <laughs> oh, I usually burn myself with every single oven meal I make. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and all I can do is sit back there and go, Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got to hurt. <laughs> I'm going to put that in where Andy is for another 30 minutes and I'll bring you back at that point and we'll get it all put into the puff pastry and back in the oven. Okay, so I just took it out of the oven. It still has three minutes left of its 30. Look at that. I'm just separating the meat a little bit so we can get the juices over every bit of that meat. That looks good. It is. Smells good. Mm -hmm. You love this pie. You went crazy on the peas, but... Mm. Never crazy on peas. They're always good. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to separate the big hunks. I'm going to let this cool about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put it in the puff pastry. And we'll bring you back. Oh. Okay. Alright, look at this. I just got Andy to lift that heavy, heavy pan for me because that's just way too heavy. So we put it inside here. I'm just going to hollow out the middle just a little bit because I've got my little pie bird. You know, four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. It helps let the steam out. It's got a little hole in the bottom. It's made for that. The pie mint. I love them. They're fun. Put that over here. Just didn't have it in me to make our own, so we used the store bought pastry. And I just want to take a few seconds now to thank two lovely ladies that Andy bumped into at the grocery store. He was just a little unsure. This is just one egg whipped with a little bit of a sorry, uh, water. water mixed together. It's just to help them stick together. These two lovely ladies stopped Dandy. He must have looked baffled or he asked for help. But they were so, so helpful to him in picking the right product. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you're here watching us today. I know Andy told us about the channel. So we're just going to flute that over. My oven's already preheated. Just going to crimp it here all the way around. Cut off the excess dough. Give it a light brushing of the egg wash and stick it in the oven. And I should be able to pull it out at about... I'm going to keep an eye on it. I just want it lightly brown. So I'll pull it out at about probably 30 minutes, 30, or we'll keep an eye. Oven's running high today. And I'm going to cut off the excess, or let's just be not wasting it, because I mean, who doesn't like puff pastry? Just don't want it to. Oh yeah. We'll just make it like this. Have our little bird sticking out to vent. Typically, we would cut all the way around, but I don't want to waste that puff pastry. <laughs> I'm being not frugal, cheap. <laughs> and by the way, this filling was to die for. Did you pinch any? Yeah. 
<laughs> I would have been disappointed had you not. <laughs> Just lightly coat it. I know a lot of you have probably used those pie vents before, but some of you haven't. And they're kind of a nice little unique item. Kids get a kick out of them. So, got that done. Just give me one sec. I should have showed you before I threw it in. But this is what it looks like. And you just set that in the bottom and the steam pours out the top. When he's done, we're going to look like we've got a little birdie baked into a pie. So I'm going to put them in. I'm going to check them. Keep an eye on it. Make sure it gets nicely toasted brown. And I'll bring you back when it's done. See you in a bit. Go. Look at that. And listen. Oh, that's going to be good. The first piece is always the one that should belong to the hostess because it never comes out beautiful. So because I made this, it's not look cute. Kind of looks like a little nest with the bird poking out of it. Um, because I made the pie, Andy was nice enough to make a nice salad for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. You want that one? I do. Then I better take that one out last. How's that? Sounds good. Okay, let me get your plate. <laughs> let me see. I'm going to take it first. I think it'll come nice. We let this sit for just about 10 minutes. I need a proper pie lifter. Next trip to the dollar store, sweetie. Oh, look. Oh, I think you're a pretty good pie lifter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so getting it for me now. <laughs> and we got some shrapnel to pick up for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, it smells good so night. nice. Beautiful. Okay, so I'll just take him back to the table. Back in a sec. Well, I can't eat with a hat on, that's for sure. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Boy, that ever good. Mmm. Better than the last one? Mmm. Because there's more peas. That's why. <laughs> mm. So, Very good. happy man. Happy man. <laughs> <laughs> It is so good. Do you want to turn that plate just a little bit? That meat is so tender. Like, <laughs> uh, you're nowhere near the camera, Andy. <laughs> I thought it was giving them a bite. <laughs> no, it was nowhere near where the video camera was. Isn't that nice? Though? It is. Beautiful. Oh, so tender. And you use the cheap cuts of meat with the little veins of fat running through it, the marbling, like, because it just cooks so tender. Mm -hmm. Very good. Remember to like, mm -hmm. subscribe. I got his mouth full and not missing it. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe and comment below. Thank you for joining us today. Bye. Bye now. <laughs>